Add it up. Are we recording? Oh yeah, we're recording. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Pizza Talks. I'm your host, Tina, and today I have got with me the lovely... Andrea Barakat. Andrea! <laughs> a round of applause for this Such baby. a Middle Eastern family, but whatever. Yeah, <laughs> both of us. Yeah. Um, and today, we are going to be talking about... I can't speak. We're going to be talking about <laughs> content creation and okay. art in general, too. That's nice, yeah. That's something mm -hmm. that I would like to talk about non-stop, and I know you do too, so we're going to exactly. have so much fun. Same, same. <laughs> Definitely. So tell me, Andrea, um, I see that you started a little business on Instagram. Yeah, I started a small business. I'm not sure if there are any parents or people under 18 watching this, but if ah. yes, okay, it's a business. <laughs> uh, I started like... Uh, printing cards mm -hmm. and uh, I started like creating content very like nice content the whole theme is like black and white and red oh nice so nice. it's a really nice theme yeah mm -hmm. and all of my friends love the concept they love the the font the pictures the of artistic course, like yeah. background behind it mm -hmm. and it's actually really nice so I'm very like excited I have so many ideas for like yeah. later also yeah, so, I'm also so excited cool. for you. It's I'm so really cool. excited for you. Yeah, uh, it's a bit actually nice to create content for a project that you're doing. Mm -hmm. uh, it's actually a bit hard, but a bit nice. Yeah. The hard part is to find the content. Yeah. The easy part is when you're actually like, hmm, okay, let me actually start posting something, not worrying about of what course. should I post. Definitely. Definitely. It takes a lot of time to especially when I'm an OCD person, you know, oh. I have to find the perfect setting, the perfect yeah. layout. This thing has to be this far away from this mm -hmm. thing, a certain, you know, amount yeah. of meters or whatever. So I was like, let me actually post pictures from my daily life, my personal uh -huh. stories, like Instagram stories and everything. So I was like, let, let me do this. And it's going yeah, fine till now. It's really nice. That's amazing. And yeah, I completely agree with you with like posting in general. Some people may know I have like five or six accounts in total. <laughs> Seven, maybe? I don't know. I have an art account on Instagram. Oh, okay. I have my personal account. I have my art account, my photography account, which Let's is made count. mainly for fun. Let's keep count. <laughs> Music account. Uh, I also manage, uh, that's for Instagram so far. I also manage the. I already lost My count. old high school's reunions account. <laughs> and I also manage the videography club account. And then on. We lost count. TikTok, we lost I have count. an account because one day I was like, what the hell? <laughs> Why not? It's The idea seemed cringe to me, but then actually I really TikTok like it. TikTok is actually really nice because, to yeah. start content. Some people just see it as like, oh, dances and silly stuff, but it's not. Depending on the content. It's not. Yeah. Like if, if I tell you my For You page, it's full of social media managers, artists, cooks and, and bakers. Yeah. And like self-development, yeah. people, motivation and everything. So that's pretty much what I'm doing on TikTok. Yeah. Because I've always wanted to start a YouTube account. Yeah. But now YouTube is, you know, uh, falling behind a little bit. So I did it I was, on TikTok. Yeah, I was actually like, you know, TikTok. Oh, okay. TikTok 14 and 15 year olds dancing yeah. there. And I was like, okay, that's let's put that to the side. Yeah. But then when you actually get more into the business world, mm -hmm. becoming like, you know, 18, 19, 20 and, you know, above. And you want to start something with your life yeah. content wise, you're like, oh, TikTok is yeah. something. It's a you know? good tool. It's really a good tool. And you don't actually see just dancing or like yeah, of course. this type of yeah, things exactly. you see on the Like, the I know I rarely see dancing. You're like, you see cooking, you see, I don't know, singing, Music, yeah. anything. I was exactly. like, okay, that's a platform to create something exactly, now. I need yeah. to do a TikTok, it's but like, I'm so yeah. lazy. Oh, you should. you should. I need to start a TikTok. You it's really like very should. fast. And it's like, you know, you swipe, you see yeah. things. You're like And there more are many people there. So you can gather people to like try to inspire them, give them advice. It's more interactive than YouTube, I would say, it and is. than any other platform. Because like, you know, it's very fast. Yeah, it's very like, it's uh, pretty fast, yeah. kind of real. Mm -hmm. It's more approach to being realistic than any yeah, other platforms sure. there. It's really nice. Yeah, so that's that's really amazing. Um, I uh, another question: What would you say is your goal in content creating? Like, what what are your main goals actually? Because some people have many goals. Some people have a goal to make it like a business and sell. 
but okay. also a goal to maybe, maybe inspire people or a goal to reach out to a certain amount of like audience. Okay, you know? yeah, that's uh, that's a good question. <laughs> um, I think at some point everyone wants both. Mm -hmm. uh, some people more to maybe towards business, yeah. you know, goals to like create content, to post like their products, to, yeah, you course. know, do those things. Uh, some people go for the content itself, mm -hmm. mental health, psychology, yeah. uh, quotes, memes, anything. Uh, some people do both. For me, uh, for example, like I'm trying to do visual content and like written content. Okay. Uh, because like the whole uh, theme or concept of my business, like it needs something to be read, you know, mm -hmm. to laugh at. And yeah. it needs like visual pictures, you know, just okay, to, yeah. something visual to yeah. look at. Um, content in general, it's really fascinating mm -hmm. what you can do with content. Personally, I would like to um, have something to share mm -hmm. in a written way, like yeah. something content content, mm -hmm. you know, uh, and also visual content. Okay, so basically the written way would also be like sold in cards. You. It depends it on depends. the way okay. you share the written content. Mm -hmm. I believe that people are going towards more visual things like pictures, yeah, traveling things, pictures, um, models, you know, photography, the yeah. whole like things you can actually see and enjoy, like mm -hmm. the beauty of the picture itself. Yeah. Um, written content depends on the page and on your content. It can also still be attractive yeah. at some point. I'm trying to implement both. I hope it okay, works. Yeah, that's good. So yeah. you would you would maybe could categorize this as like a personal blog, but also kind of like art and business. <clears throat> uh, yes, I'm trying to make spontaneous content okay. because when you actually focus on the content too much and you like some people do focus on the content if you know what you're like putting out there, mm -hmm. like if you have. Uh, a business that is already like um, you have your own grown business yeah. it's like at a growth level you already know the content you're posting you know mm -hmm. you know what it is how it is like yeah. uh, product photography you already know like this is the layout I want yeah, this is course, the light I want you know what's going on uh, for me personally if I like I've always wanted to start something but mm -hmm. I was like oh, I need this specific content this yeah. specific light this thing and then I would be like, oh, I'm going to shut everything yeah. off. I'm going to stop now. Just start, exactly. Uh, now I was like, I'm actually 21. You know, I need to be spontaneous. Exactly. I don't want to think about this too much. Mm -hmm. So I just started to post pictures, yeah. like regular things I would post on my personal page. And that actually works. That's really, really nice. nice. I mean, I follow you. I love it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, spontaneity is what makes it beautiful. Yeah, too. I was like, yeah, let me just take a picture of a red cup, for example, yeah. and just post it. Yeah, it's really nice. It's, it's very really random, nice. very like normal. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, okay, let's post. And there's it. always that idea of just start because if you wait till you're ready, you don't you yeah. don't know yeah. when you're going to be ready, and you might not even consider yourself ready ever. Yeah. Like, I can give many examples for this. Like, many many TikTokers or many people who want to do tic make TikToks don't post like most of the things they do, yeah. and they're very picky. And I was one of them, and I would only post in the beginning food. Because I would be too scared of posting something that has me in it, yeah. like something motivation or something singing even. Singing is very hard for me to post because I'm like, oh, people are not going to like that. Or, oh, that's not going to be my niche. Yeah. Um, because people would say you have to have a niche. But then I would say more TikToks that say, just post whatever you want. You only live once. Yeah. And, exactly. and people are going to like the authentic you. So just post whatever you want. Exactly. Yes. You have yeah. to start at some point because like... You just think and think and think over and over Overthinkers, again. I mean. And, and you're like, oh, okay, I'm not going to do this. I will wait for the correct time to start this or do Make this. Make the or... time right. Don't wait for the right you time. You just exactly. have to push yourself. You like, do. literally, you just have to push yourself. Just count to three, like one, two, three, and just push yourself. You, you know, it. I actually do this. Just like, do it. I, I literally count to three. Like, if I, sometimes I'm a bit shy to speak in Greek. So if I need to speak to someone or I want to say something in, in Greek, yeah. I literally just count to three and it's it gives you like a deadline, like one, two, three, you're going to do it. Yes, you know? exactly. Um, Other than that, you're just going to keep yeah. thinking and you're going to like be all messed yeah, up. So just like yeah. do the thing you want to do. Exactly. Post your first content. There you go. Start Here's your motivational business. Andrea for you. <laughs> start your business. Uh, talk to the person you like. Just 
do something. Don't like waste your time. You only, we used to say that, oh, YOLO, you only live once. You do actually yeah, live once. Exactly. You, could, you could die like right now, a couple seconds yeah. from now. You could uh, fall, break your leg, can't walk again, can't see, can't hear. Like, yeah, you, just, yeah. just do something about Especially your life. Especially for the people out there who have many hobbies like us. Yeah. You could maybe next, the day after, you just wake up and you have something and you can't sink. Or or you have tendonitis, which I have, I've it, had it, twice. Yeah, it kills me when I have a cold and I can't sing. I'm exactly. like, oh, okay, but I do have something else to keep yeah. myself busy with and be creative. Yeah. But you have to actually course, do those things. Of course. You can't be like, oh, okay, yeah. I have a cold now, I can't sing. I'm I'm dying, oh my God. And and my, my singing teacher always told me, uh, actually, like one day I came to her and I was like, I want to record a song. But I, I've always been waiting for the right time where, where my my voice will be good enough yeah. for me to actually record a song. Because when you record it and you make it like into an actual song or you post it somewhere, like an actual recording, like, because I have the gear at home. I just mm. never opened it. <laughs> yeah. You need to do something yeah, about that. Yeah, I need to do something about that. And <laughs> I And she told me, don't do that. And she told me how she has been singing for 10 years professionally. Yeah. And if she had, and she had always had that idea too. And if she had waited 10 years, she still, her voice is still, still getting better, you know? And if you just wait so much, you're never going to do something. You're never going to be able to post something that you're proud of because you're, you're not going to see the, the progress too. Yeah. And just do it. You know, you never know when you're, you're going to have that chance again. It depends on the thing that you want to start with. Of if it's like for fun, you should do it. Yeah. If it's for growth purposes, like a business or whatever, you should also push yourself. As you said, mm. the process, yeah, exactly. the progress you see in yeah. the process is really nice. Yeah. So you have to start. You know, you can't just be a millionaire overnight, yeah, for example. Course, you have to start course. from zero. There's a, there's a, a nice... Uh, entrepreneur i don't remember who it was it might have been rob dial who's a mindset mentor and I, I listen to his podcasts and once he once said um don't think just act ready fire aim not yeah. ready aim fire because and he says that to people who think too much yeah like think too much before doing something and before before you just stay in that loop you just you're ready already yeah. you've thought about th this so much you fire, you start whatever you want to do, and then you adjust. Yeah, I used to be someone who overthinks about everything. A um, couple of like incidents happened, and I started to view life in a very different way. And I was like, um, I really don't have like many lives to spare. You know, I just have this Literally. one life. Exactly. I have to eat. I have to sleep. I have to uh, party. I have to have fun. I have to study education. Everything yeah. you can do in this life, just just do it. Really, it's really fun when you actually get to this mentality at a young age. You would live a happy life. Really? Oh, yeah. Yes, you will. That's <laughs> so. And nice. also, do not even think about what people may think of you. Like, no. this is a big. This is a big thing that has stayed in there for me, um, yeah. because I care about my image a lot, and I. I admit it now, <laughs> like yeah. I, ha I haven't gone past that yet fully, but I have <laughs> grown with that. Um, but you basically just need to like not give a damn, like just yeah. who cares? Like if anything, if you don't care what they think of you, they're probably going to like you more because you don't care what they think of you. That's, you know? that's easier actually yeah, to start something. It's so something. much easier for yourself too. Just for do me, whatever yeah. makes you happy. For me, it's actually nice to have an image or to of keep course, yeah. that image consistent once you get yeah. to your goal. At the beginning, you don't have mm -hmm. an image. You have nothing to like yeah. be worried about. You're like, like starting yeah. something from scratch. People will talk. People will like do whatever mm -hmm. they do to you know, bring you down, but you, you don't have an image. You still don't have anything. You're and you could, you can build an image for yourself and you can build how, how you want to be perceived and everything, but you, you can say like, I want to make this kind of content. I want to be inspiring to people, but if someone doesn't find you inspired, you don't, you know, shut down. Yeah. So yeah, and there's, there's that. You have to like push yourself mm -hmm. literally this whole thing turned yeah. into being pushed to no, the no, limits motivation. and like throwing content yourself creation out there is a lot about the, this this is the like yeah. 90 percent of content creation everything everything requires content you know starting a business you do need content especially now it's 2000 something 22 <laughs> 
it's going to be like also 23, 24. Okay. Yeah. You would still need content. Social mm. media is something right now. You know, yeah. you have to have content. You're not starting Recording. a business and be like, I'm going to make like, I don't know how much money. You yeah. need an audience to make money. Of course. Social media is where you will find that audience. You need content. Mm. Whatever you're doing, you need content. Yeah. Either written, either visual, uh, anything that attracts people either to buy or to like go to your page or whatever you're yeah. looking for. It's on social media currently. If you want to use it in a like healthy way, that's exactly. up to you. That's up to you. This is how yeah. you approach the content itself. People sometimes um, diminish social media and they just cross it out of their thoughts when they were talking about anything like professional because they're like, oh, social media, anyone posts anything and everything. Yeah. But he, he, as long as you see it in a healthy way, like I like to use social media as healthily as possible. Yeah. TikTok even. Like if you literally, if you see my feed, there's not one person dancing. <laughs> Like there's maybe one actually, but probably a talented one because I love I love dancing, <laughs> but not just you know there you're gonna find motivation you're gonna find food a lot of food a lot of food. a lot of art and a lot of a lot of music art. you're not gonna find you're not gonna find just silly things that's the thing that type of content for example the dancing people through that are looking just for attention it depends who uh, it depends if it they depends want to dance what? professionally or if it depends on what but i mean like for example trends. yeah you're not yeah. like doing something to raise awareness to you know collect money let's say or yeah. like gain money yeah. or whatever i mean you're they can like, do whatever yeah. they want but as long as you see social media as something that that's can, that can be helpful for you that can uh, attract a certain audience that can inspire people you you can you can use it as much as you want i believe that everyone wants attention at some point but yeah. it depends we all do yeah. want attention this is how you gain people this is how you gain money this is how you build something mm -hmm. but it depends on whether you just want attention for attention or like yeah. attention to to do touch, a certain touch yes, people of course you know Okay. You're doing baking and you're doing art. Yeah. This is not something you just find really amusing. You're doing it for yourself or like yeah. just to gain attention. You're just doing it for fun. So people can like, you know, be a bit excited about yeah, art, about course, cooking. It's like you're doing it with passion. Mm -hmm. That's also something very yes. important to do content. It's the with. intention counts. Yes. The intention counts a lot. And the passion. Yeah. Being passionate about what you're uploading also. Yeah. And if you if we go back to that, uh, you only live once thing. I had an example too. Um, about four years ago, uh, I had to have a little surgery in, on my leg, which is it was little, but it was big. As in, basically, I had a hole in my bone. Okay. They had to open it up and clean it up and fill it with like fake bone. Okay. That they had mixed with something that they had removed here to make it like my bone. Okay. It's a whole process. So that so I had just like, talking about this made I know. me Ooh. made me scared in general. I, know. About it, <laughs> I have the scar, it's like it's like that much here and like the half of it here. But basically when I when I went through this surgery that I thought would just be like that done, it it was very painful, but most importantly, I couldn't do anything. I was like this on the sofa. That was more painful for me than the actual pain, which was a lot. Yeah. I could I could barely read. I could read a little bit. That was when I had started reading a lot, actually. And I love reading. Yeah. I'm obsessed. And I would literally watch three movies per day and two FIFA <laughs> World Cup matches per day. And I would I would love that, but I would be so annoyed because yeah. I couldn't go get up and, and do like play piano, sing. I couldn't I couldn't go draw. I couldn't go play volleyball, go walk somewhere. I couldn't I couldn't do anything for at least like a month. Oh. Um, but after that, I started being able to, I went to a party with like, <laughs> I mean, a party. I, I just sat in the corner, but still, um, oh, that was one hell of a party. <laughs> yeah. And it was only a month, but it felt like ages. I couldn't do, I, I started feeling, I started getting angry because I felt like I'm not being productive. I'm yeah. not doing anything. Um, so even like these moments like these, this literally opened my mind after that surgery, this th surgery, I consider it to be, or this, this moment, this kind of year was my turning point. This was actually, and I say it, I say it sometimes. I think I've even said it, uh, in one of my TikToks and I was 15 and it was the year I started 
the year I've reached everything changed. I started working on self-development. I started journaling, yeah. writing my gratitude every day. I, I started you it a bit before that. that yeah. I, guess. <laughs> I started it a bit before my surgery because I knew I was going to get surgery. So I just started writing everything I'm grateful yeah. for every day. And I started doing like journaling, uh, writing down restaurants I want to visit, you know, making plans. <laughs> That's amazing. Drawing more. Um, a lot of self-development, basically, just to be, you know, grateful about stuff. Because before that, we were also children at 15 and everything. You know, we yeah. would sometimes think, oh, she, she's not, they're, they're not including me in their friend group. Oh, why is this happening? Why is that happening? And these things became like minor like, what, what the hell? Who cares? No you know? one cares. Who cares? No one cares. That's exactly. the thing. You are not bothered. Like, you're not bothered from this. Mm -hmm. You were actually, like, also not bothered from the physical pain you had from the surgery. You were bothered that you were not being productive. And you I was move. bothered by the by the physical, but I, but not it, and it was horrible. Much. Like, absolutely horrible. Like, I do not suggest something like that to someone. <laughs> Although if I didn't do the surgery, I might have, if I had fallen on this foot it might have broken the bone because it, it had a huge hole in it yeah so it would have been very dangerous but the mental part was so annoying frustrating because yeah as soon as the pain would go away i'd i'd be i'd be frustrated because i would still not be able to move because as soon as i move a little bit my my foot it would hurt a lot so like this this moment was the moment i knew i just wanted to change some this this huge thing like the more you do, the more you do gratitude, the more you tr you motivate yourself, the more you listen to podcasts and 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 make things that grow your mind, yeah. the less you're going to think about these minor stuff. Like, who cares if, if, if this this girl doesn't want to be your friend or if this guy doesn't like you back? You ain't got no time for that. Um, no two, time. Two, 20 people probably like you. No time. If that, if that, I know, right? You <laughs> Preach. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, like something, something like there are not every day is going to be good. Not every month is going to be good, but there is something good in every day. And if you focus on this thing, your whole day is going to, is going to feel amazing. Like I've had horrible days, but as soon as I write the gratitude, what is happening? <laughs> as usual. Motivation 101. Yes. And boys playing in the back. I mean, this time at least they're not doing uh, air guitar with the keyboard. Or they are. <laughs> well, great. I just put the idea in them. Anyway. Um, what was I saying now? <laughs> wow. Who cares? And yeah, journaling and else? gratitude. Oh, I was saying... Oh, yeah, I was saying. There's something I do... Uh, I also have a moon tracker. You probably yeah. I have seen, seen yeah. all of it on your art page. One of oh. the seven or eight ones I oh couldn't keep God. track of. Yeah. Um, so I have mood trackers, habit trackers, sleep trackers, um, and I always write down my gratitude before I fill in the mood tracker because, yeah. and this always happens. As soon as I write gratitude, my day goes from if it was like a three out of five, let's say, it goes from three to four. Yeah. Because I know I remember all of the good things that happened. That's actually very smart. And and then and then you also have like by doing gratitude and by by sitting down and taking control of your night. I always have like morning routine, night routine. I don't always manage to do them now with with university, but when you do these things, you you take time for yourself. And I like there's something that this this dude dude yeah this this mentor. I suggest everyone to to listen to him on Spotify. <clears throat> Rob Dial, the mindset mentor, he says um, one thing that you should do to have a good day or to to be to have control over the day to be successful is to to take control of the day. So to start proactively, not reactively. Instead of waking up and going and checking your messages or doing something that's that is for someone else, so you're not controlling your day. You spend, let's say, one hour or 20 minutes for yourself, proactively. Yeah. You you take care of yourself, skincare, journal, gratitude. You work out. You you cook something you like. You just do something that will start your day right. So this way, if you do this every day, you're going to start feeling in control. You're not going to feel like you're doing something for someone. You're not going to feel like life is happening to you. You're going to feel like ha life is happening for you. Exactly. Actually, I believe that a lot of people shifted like 
to this mindset during COVID Definitely. and when they had to like be alone mm -hmm. and face themselves alone. Definitely. Like, you know, I just, uh, I just have me now. I'm hanging out with me. You know, I have to. I have to learn how to <laughs> yeah, like me. Exactly. You know? Ex this I'm is watching a movie important. with me now. I'm eating with me. Yeah, you know, this is very important. This is something that people are 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 implementing more and more these days. Like, people are going on de dates with themselves. Like, just going out and eating something. I would have never thought of doing that ever because I'd be like, yeah. why waste a nice like restaurant visit or something just alone you know no. no no it actually counts it really counts it actually counts like personally let's say like during the lockdown there was the first wave the second wave yeah. the first wave was <laughs> so many waves i i kind of just like many people that i know i had this opportunity to, to self-develop and like to come at peace with many things the first wave was pretty bad for me yeah i i went through my first big breakup and romances uh heartbreaks <laughs> but we we get uh, over no that no romances okay i mean romances and heartbreaks but we get over that and then the second wave you just the more you spend time with yourself the more you get to know yourself and you're not just you're not just rough, rushing through the day you're not just living without being yeah. conscious of who you are you yeah. like just pretend you're with someone you, you can't be with someone and feel loved if you don't know that person, you know? Yeah. And as soon as you start getting to know yourself, you start feeling less lonely if you if you were feeling lonely. Because you yeah. can't feel lonely with a person that you're comfortable being alone with. I actually read this on Instagram uh, saying that you are the only person you have to live with forever. Yeah, exactly. So you actually exactly. have to. It's, it's like, you know, you sometimes feel like, oh, I hate myself, you know? But you're like, you really have to you're stuck yeah. with yourself forever. you're stuck with yourself so basically you're like oh i have so to like, love myself now yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. And, and it takes time but it's effort also it's, it, and it's possible. it's effort but less effort than to try of to course. consume your energy on trying to love other people of course you have to actually start yes, with yourself you so yeah. loving other people wouldn't take as much effort as you think it would exactly you can't pour from an empty cup you have to take you have to take care of yourself before you take care of others because exactly. you're also a person. And I also, uh, I when I listened to At My Worst for the first time, like right after yeah. we finished with the music club, yeah. I went back home and I listened to At My Worst. And I said that in the TikTok video. I literally got emotional because I realized you can't expect someone to love you at your worst if you don't already love yourself at your worst. And exactly. once you do, you don't really care as much. Yeah, basically the song says I I need somebody to love me at my worst. Yeah. And literally I'm I'm like who do you expect well, you to found love the, you at your you worst? You found the somebody, it's you. Who do you expect like people to love would, you at your worst? People, I'm sure there are many people that would love you at your worst, but it still wouldn't be good enough for you. You'd still feel bad if you don't love yourself. At me your worst. personally, I used to have like many friends uh, that are close to me and also an ex of mine. Mm -hmm. Um I believe that he loved me so much, but at some point I was like I need to make some changes because he does not have to love me at my worst, like this exactly. worst, like this worst, you know? I, I feel you completely. So and I, I, was, yeah. I feel you completely because sometimes I'm like, I feel that too sometimes. And I feel that also with my family. Like sometimes I just lash out because I've had a bad day. Yeah. And I'm and like, I'm this like, should not happen, you, you know? You, you, say you don't and have to even like, though yeah. they accept that, you can still work on yourself. You know? Yeah. Even if they're your parents, but yeah. you're like, they don't even have to like hear those things or see me in this mood. You know, I have to control myself. Yeah. I have to like speak to my own personal of therapist, <laughs> manage yeah, exactly. things, and then oh, everything yeah. is okay. Hi guys. I'm I'm yeah. sorry. You don't have to be sorry to like, you know, do yeah. those things. You did not have to do them in the first exactly. place. Exactly. You can exactly. just communicate with yourself, work it out, and then exactly. You're good. And and something that also what was I gonna say? <laughs> I've I've lost my train of thought way too much. Because these people are whispering. We we shifted a lot of subjects. Didn't you guys notice? <laughs> okay, I just remembered. <laughs> we went from content to mental health. To men yeah, that's that this could be, actually that helps. Could, that could be the title actually. From but, content creation to mental but health. But the the thing is you have to be in a really good let's not say good mental state you can be at any mental state but the message or the content that you are creating has to affect people and you positively 
So you have to at least enjoy the content you're making yeah. and it has to be, you know, like of course. effective of course. and something nice. And I have something to say about that, but I'm going to say something right before that. Okay. Um, something, something, that's something very new, although I'm sure I felt it before too. But recently, and I think that's also the at my worst song had has kind of affected me. Like as soon as I fear that I'm going to lose a friendship or lose a relationship or lose a connection that matters to me or or that something's going to happen that I can't control it because I'm a I'm I don't not a control freak even though some people would disagree <laughs> but I I like to control things so if as soon as I feel like there's something out of my control that will happen and I'll feel devastated I just remember that there's always going to be me for me mm-hmm. like I'm always going to be here for myself and it really helps like it's crazy how weird it sounds but how 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 much it helps it's not that you're a control freak i can relate to that yeah you know, like if i feel like i'm gonna lose a person i would you either, just want to do something not to for this i want to do happen. something about it but something that would make me happy whether it is to break of up course. with this person of course or to fix things yeah do you like do, some changes yeah. you do what you think is best and and the rest you leave it you, you leave it up to up to whatever happens and but and you know you will always be for your here for yourself yeah and also something else that i was going to say what did we say after oh yeah something that helps me with my content usually and it helps me with my mood too <laughs> is that uh, also some people may know i have a tendency to like film everything or take pictures of everything and it's i mean i think that it's something that is kind of like built in me and helps me also with content creation. Yeah. In like especially in TikTok because I I do a bit of everything art, uh positivity and self development, baking. And I think you're a visual person. Oh, I am. So, I think, I'm, yeah, pretty sure it, I am. It, it I'm pretty sure I am. I'm pretty sure I am. It explains it. <laughs> yeah. Uh pizzas by the way, paper pl- paper pizzas. Uh, you're not going to eat that one. No. Right? Okay. I did eat a paper in German <laughs> class. Like when I was, she 14. had to mention this. No, yeah, because it was like a paper contest with with a friend, and like I'm not even friends with them with that girl anymore. I hope she's not watching the podcast. No, though. I don't think so. I don't think so. We've lost touch. In tribute to that, we need to eat the paper. <laughs> oh no, no! Next time I'm gonna make better ones though. You're um, not gonna, and bring I'm not gonna real... put bacon on them because that sounds nasty. Wait, 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 wait! You're gonna make better ones, but not bring us pizzas. What the hell is because this? Because COVID. I want out. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh, but you're definitely coming back though. Yes. In this to this podcast. With real pizzas, please. Oh god. And no Hopefully. masks. We hate COVID. <laughs> oh no. Um, oh. but yeah, was what I was gonna say is that I pretty much film like I I take opportunities usually to film things, whether to post them or not. I usually like to yeah. post them. I sometimes restrict myself. But something that has helped me is that. As a person, I always like to to bring out the best in me and like spread it to the world. Like I want to be bubbly. I want to yeah. I want to show my That's positive a side to people. Word. Yeah, <laughs> bubbly. <laughs> <laughs> like you can't say bubble when you're angry. Bubble, Bu- <laughs> bubble. Like if you want to call out someone, bubble. No, bubble. <laughs> like, but I just think about a pink bubble. You know, yeah. like bubble. <laughs> um. So yeah, I I want to I want to to give out like a positive. Positive vibes, basically, and mm. it's a, it's um, it's a, a gift and a curse because sometimes you're not feeling great. Yeah, but you kind of force yourself to be positive. But this has helped me in content creation and in my mood because I, also I don't want to lie. I wouldn't. I'm not going to lie that I'm feeling super positive when I'm not. So what I do unconsciously is that I turn something not very positive or a bad day into a <laughs> good day somehow. So like I see the good the good in it and I film it. Like if I'm filming something about if I'm feeling uh if if I'm feeling a certain way, if I'm feeling negative, yeah. or if I'm like, oh, I have so many things to do. I remember that I like to post positive things on TikTok. Yes. And so you, my mind immediately goes to make a quote about and that. And you're also and then I, yeah. you switch your mood. You little I literally switch my mood after filming it. Like if I'm I have so many things to do, I'm overwhelmed. I film a video and I tell people like Take a break, slow down. No one's chasing you. Something like that. And I, then I post it and then I and you're like, watch the video and it comes back to me. So this also helps in in even when you're not feeling super positive. If your goal, if you're 
if your intention is to inspire people and to spread positive vibes, it will happen. It will come back to you. Yeah. Me personally, sometimes I don't feel well, you know, we, yeah, we all course. have our ups and downs. So I'm like, um, I told my friends, like, I'm not feeling well. I'm just going to like take a break, you know, mm -hmm. do something by myself. And then I upload something and they're like, oh, we thought you were not feeling yeah. well. And then I was like, it I happened. Just, I just upload things either for content and, and it made you feel better. It makes me feel exactly. better. You know, like I just want to upload a picture of a pizza. Yeah. What, what do you want from me? Yeah. <laughs> Let her live, you know. <laughs> yeah. And then I feel better because it's so as well. You're talking about the pizza that you uploaded once. I have no I, idea. I, remember. I upload a lot of oh, pizza wait, pictures. You're, well, there was one <laughs> post where it was something like some food and, and you had your nails painted with like hearts. Yeah. That, that was, was for the content. Yeah. <laughs> but also for the pizza. Oh, yeah. That's the thing. You just post something and you're like, as artists, we're so visual that you just look at a picture no matter what it is. You just like, you're not feeling well. You just post a picture of food. Literally, some people don't understand this too. You're like so visually. And I'm like, but it, but it makes us feel better, you know? Just let us It's live. so visually pleasing. You're like, oh my God, I love the colors yeah. in this picture. It's so amazing you yeah. just feel nice again some people are like oh like she just wants to like show off that she's doing something no and she's feeling bad it's literally she like so photogenic more than me i want to take literally you just contemplate the beauty of the picture the colors the literally. whole theme yeah. the whole thing going on and you're like yeah i feel so much better exactly. oh my god <laughs> exactly graphic design and our stuff because you also you're also studying graphic design. yes mm -hmm. and um, uh most of my friends are like this suits you so it does it, it really makes does. me cheer up i i love your your content also your your personal instagram have you yeah. had it for a while or or was it new before i came to greece okay so some must like because some say it that seemed relatively new but you yeah. had such a like it was so photogenic i was like there's yeah. no way it's new that's the thing i used to be so crazy about the content oh. i'm like i used to put layouts and i'm like oh, oh this picture God. doesn't go with that picture with the, i should not feed. post it oh my it God. doesn't go with the feed or i have to like adjust the colors to make it go with the feed yeah. but then i was like who gives a whatever about I know, this? Right? Just yeah. post a picture. You look happy. You're exactly. having fun. Just post it. Just just showing your true Just colors. post it. And some people accidentally like tell me that, oh, this looks actually artistic. You yeah. seem like an artistic person. I'm like, okay, I study art. Yeah. And, and like it comes This naturally. was by accident. Yeah, that's really good. That's the thing. When you no longer focus on what's going on, the content comes out spontaneously. You don't have to yeah. worry about it. And you know, that also happened once to me or once or twice, a few times um, when I wasn't feeling very pretty. Like, I don't know why. I just, I wasn't feeling very pretty. And I was always like, uh, like trying to, trying to like fix myself and that's, see how people would see me. That's not a blah, phase. Blah. That's something day, we go through every day, yeah, I guess. One day I girls. had so much to do or, or I, I don't know what I went through, whatever. I just woke up and I was like, okay, I need to do so many things. I, I don't have time to. I literally didn't think of that. And I was walking in the at the mall and I looked my, at myself in the mirror and I was like, wait a second, I look pretty. So like as soon as you don't focus on it. That's the thing. Also, the definition of beauty. But in general, I believe that everyone is beautiful. And you just are... have to see it by yourself. Exactly. We're going back to the self. Yeah. You know, like you're like, you okay, know, the, you know, the, the singer Fairuz. Yes. Everyone would tell her she has such a beautiful voice and she wouldn't see it. Do you, do you know how crazy that is? Like, yeah. like it happens to the best of us. I think at some point you, when you like grow old a bit and grow up, you start to actually see that no one is fully happy with who they are, what they have and what they look like and all of that. You're like, oh, she's so pretty. And she's like, oh, sometimes I hate myself. I hate my hair. I'm not yeah. pretty. And you're like, you are not pretty. You're joking, right? And it's just something everyone feels, you know? Mm -hmm. It's Definitely. something really relatable. You're like, oh, okay, she feels that way. You feel a bit better that she feels the same way also. Yeah. This is like That's also true. something That's true. It's nice. something common, yeah. Also something that we've talked about before, but I forgot to say. You really inspire me. You've, you've inspired me from the first few stories that you post. Because I saw you would, you would go and eat somewhere by yourself. And I was like, wait a second, I need to do that. I always go to like walk alone. Yeah. And I'm like, um, you know, if I just cancel. If you're watching this, <laughs> if you're, if you're, if you're watching this, <laughs> oh, we need to finish soon. Okay. 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 Last comment. If you are watching this, go 
whether you're in a relationship or single or yeah. if you have 20,000 things to do trust me I'm yeah. taking five courses I have my my Ovio <laughs> classes of piano and singing I feel you but take a break and go take a break go yeah. on a date with yourself whether I, it's yeah f- uh, whatever film um food walk yeah. whatever just go walk. go there I cancel plans to go walk by myself See, this is how important. serious I it's take my time for your alone. Ma- mental health. And I eat ice cream. I just walk, go back home, yeah. and finish some work. Of course, this is how it happens. Do that and comment down below how you feel. I'm sure you'll feel better eventually. Hopefully, I'm sure. I'm sure it, <laughs> it will serve you. It's really nice. So that's what we have for you for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Smash <laughs> the bell button. Actually, subscribe if you have. If you haven't, how dare you? <laughs> But if you have. She Thank will, you. She will haunt you. Seriously. No, I'll just give you that pizza. Hopefully you won't get poisoned. <laughs> um, smash the ring button. The ring bell. The bell. The, wow. <laughs> This is taking too long. <laughs> smash the bell button and and comment down below. Subscribe. Three things you do to keep your mental health up. That's actually good, yeah. That's That that will help us all of us. Yes. And also comment how, how amazing Andrea is and how pretty she is. <laughs> because we want her back. So yeah, do that. And we will see you next time. And that is a do it with me wrap. Okay. <laughs> Yay. Oh.